Hey, what's up guys? Andrew Extremist here from AndrewExtremist.com right now with AT&T Galaxy S3 and I'm going to show you how I back up my Galaxy S3. Now, I'm using this AT&T Galaxy S3 to demonstrate this process. This will work on any Android or any Galaxy S3 possible. I'm going to show you how to exactly I back up my phone and how you should do it too. This is my recommendation for any people out there who's flashing new ROMs every day. Uh, I think you should back up your phone like this before you start flashing ROMs. So let's go ahead and get to the actual video. Uh, this is the new Facebook Home. If you haven't seen this, how to install it, if you want to know how to install go ahead and click right here. You're going to find a annotation where you're going to find how to install this. So for this, I only use three, two applications, Super Backup or and Titan Backup. You can scroll right here and go to the applications. These are the only applications I have. I'm running AOKP at the time of this video. And uh, first, what I do is back up my SMS and just hit Backup. And uh, this is the name of XML. It saves your all the back uh, SMS in the XML that XML format. You can go ahead and give the name of the file. Make sure I the way I, I name this is a Friday April twenty two. So I'll just select April twenty two twenty thirteen and press OK. And this will back up everything you got. Then go to restore and uh, right here you will find the one that you backed up before. And it says right here. I backed up one on April 5, select that, and it will start restoring everything. Now you can go back. Oops. Okay, hold on. Right here. I back up my SMS back like that. I do uh, my contacts, same way. Just hit backup, press OK, and go to restore, and uh, you will find this like there there will be a backup right there on data and you can back those i like restore that call logs context and sms that's three items that i back up then i go to titanium backup and uh remember choice forever allow that's my super su permission it's kind of different in this uh aokp rom let me zoom out and show you press okay another okay and i just installed this rom and I press the top right corner and uh, go to backup all user application and system data. So do that and uh, select whichever you want. And if you don't want something, just deselect that and press the corner right button again, which is going to have green arrow. Again, the bot button used to be right here. I'm sorry if you did not see that because I was zoomed in there. Again, press that arrow and your phone will start backing up all the application this titanium backup application is really good and really rapid on backing up all the applications so i do recommending backing up all the data but do not recommend destroying the data so i'll be back once this thing is done backing up okay guys so once that titanium backup finishes you're gonna press your power button go to reboot and if you got these options go ahead and press recovery and press reboot your phone will boot into recovery now you need to be uh, rooted i forgot to mention that up front but yeah you need to be rooted in order to use this feature and the titanium backup the super backup does not need to be rooted now if you don't have custom recovery or custom power menu what you can do is go ahead and go to play store download this application called quick boot open that up give it super su permission and then boot your phone into recovery from there now here we're going to go to backup and uh, this is the things it's going to back up if you want backup recovery too you can select that and just wipe away you had option down there about internal or external i always back up an internal for some reason so i'm gonna back up my internal i don't even have my external sd card in there so and that's how i back up everything before flashing a new rom and that's how you should back up your phone that's quick way for me to show you how to back up your phone uh if you got another phone like this guy or even this guy. Oops, it's charging, so it's not keeping in the frame. But that's Galaxy Nexus 4, or no, Nexus 4. This is Galaxy S3, Note 2, and I have Galaxy Nexus, which is not here right now. But if you would like to see any videos on that, please leave back comment on here or on to andorextremist.com. I'll have a step by step guide on how to do this below the like button, so you can go ahead and Hit the like button on your way to the 
step-by-step -step instruction, which is located on to androidextremist.com. You can go there, find the step-by-step -step instruction. And uh, if you got one of this phone, you can please, you can go ahead and subscribe for maybe more videos like that or like this and step-by-step uh, -step tutorials, which is going to be fail proof. Now, once your phone finishes backing up, you can go to restore tab and here you will see the restore uh, with date on it. Now, this is little messed up dates, but you probably will know that 16 comes with after 9, so that's your latest. And just swipe away to restore that backup. I don't need, really need to, so I'm just going to reboot my phone. And there you go. So, feel free to subscribe, like my video, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys.